just packed up camp this morning and we're getting ready to take off. Again, if you guys haven't watched the day one video, I'll put the link up above or down in the links below, but check that out. That was all a day one from Buena Vista all the way up to Hancock Lake here. So we're just doing a little bit of a bike packing trip and uh, last night we camped out here at uh, Lake Hancock and uh, got raining down a little bit and then after that it got pretty cold last night. Uh, but we, uh, we managed to survive, so we're getting ready to take off. We're going to go back down Hancock Pass, uh, do the Alpine Tunnel, head up over Tin Cup Pass, drop back down into St. Elmo, and then we'll be back on the way to uh, Buena Vista. So it's been really nice so far, so I'm excited to see what today holds. Let's go. Woo! These are many eaters. These huge rocks. Holy cow. You definitely need a lifted 4x4 to get back up in here. So I just came up the uh, the gravel chunky Jeep road that uh, we started way down there in the valley. This thing has been insane, especially with all the weight from all the camping gear. And it's been a struggle, a little bit of hike a bike, but we're getting close to the top of uh, Hancock Pass. We gotta head up just a little bit further and then we'll drop down into the Alpine Tunnel um, and kind of continue on. But yeah, this, this stuff is probably got the GoPro effect, but it is extremely steep, rocky, rooty, chunky, and uh, yeah, but man, when you get up here, I think we're about 11,000 plus feet. Just beautiful, man. You're up here with the clouds. You got the beautiful valley down below. You just can't beat it. Today is just really nice weather. So if you look right out here, this is what's kind of left of the Alpine uh, tunnel train tracks. This train track used to take you up to the top of the mountains up here and used to go through a tunnel that would drop you into the town of Alpine. And uh, it's been gone for quite a while, but really cool views up here and uh, kind of cool history. We'll actually be dropping into the old ghost town of Alpine later on, so we'll get to check that out. to uh, Alpine Tunnel. So this is the old uh, train house up here on Alpine Tunnel. And uh, it's just hidden away in the middle of this little valley. I mean, literally in the middle of nowhere. We are just totally out here, remote. There is nothing around at all. This is an abandoned old town, so. You got what used to be, this used to be an old boarding house. So when the train would bring people up, they could stay over here. Um, we got a couple of small little outbuildings down here. And then on the back side, this is the actual train station for Alpine Tunnel. So that's pretty cool. If we go up around the corner, the actual tunnel that used to take people through the divide up here is actually kind of uh, collapsed. So we actually will climb up over, hike a bike over it to get down into uh, Tin Cup Pass. So pretty excited. Glad we're here. We're, we're kind of like about halfway through today's journey and uh, yeah, just a great day so far. Oh yeah, a little bit of that single track. Kind of coming off of the Alpine loop there. Tin cup in the background. Far, we're doing pretty good with all the racks, even on this super loose technical stuff. 
a lot of weight on this bike. Woo! It is loose and chunky, and this is steep. I know that GoPro effect is making this look probably like nothing, but wow. Good trip. Ride a little bit of single track. We're kind of heading back down into uh, St. Elmo. And uh, once we hit St. Elmo, we'll be back on a uh, little bit of dirt road, back onto the road, and then into BV. That was chunky. Not easy with all the gear. Makes it more challenging. We just made it down off the downhill section, coming down from the Alpine Loop and Tin Cup Pass. And we're on this final dirt road here. Got this really cool old mining building that looks like it's about to uh, literally fall onto the trail. It's kind of crazy. And uh, we're gonna make it back down to St. Elmo cruise back down into uh, Princeton Springs. Then we got a little bit of an uphill section and then drop back down into BV. This trip has been awesome. We've had a ton of terrain out here. Did a lot of camping, had a lot of fun. Did a lot of hike-a-bike on this one. There was some crazy, crazy trails, right, Ed? Serious hike-a-bike. Yeah, I mean, it was it was insane. I haven't, I haven't done that much hike-a-bike in a long time, so. It's a good route, but it's definitely one of those ones you want to be in some shape, and I don't know if I was in that shape for this one, but uh, yeah, here we go. the aspens this time of year. Look at that. That's awesome. All the greens and yellows canopied by aspen trees. That is really cool. Atypical Colorado right there. We just made it down from St. Elmo. We're doing the last little stretch here into BV, Buena Vista, and uh, man, it went from really cold up there at like close to 13,000 feet to down here. Huge change in weather, but man, it feels so nice out here. So got about four or five more miles to go until we get back to Ed's house. And then uh, wrap things up. We just made it back to Buena Vista and we are spent. That was an amazing two days of riding, extremely hard, lots of hike a bike. We totally tested those new Topeak Tetra racks and uh, the MTX trunk bags uh, worked out really well. So I wanna thank Topeak for sponsoring this ride and allowing me to do what I do. If you guys wanna know more about Topeak, I'll put the links down below. If you guys wanna see more content like this, please hit that like button and click subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next ride.